Well, everybody in YouTube land, I have finally figured out the mystery ceiling fan problem. Actually, I figured it out a few weeks ago now, but anyways, it turned out to be the switch. You see, there's the, the line, like, you know, the line wire comes in here. You can see the L. And then this um, third position, you could say, you know, one, two, three. On the third position, this, this orange wire was hooked up, and it's going to the reverse switch, and then later going to the fan motor. And then there's uh, these two capacitor wires that were on these two slots here, one and two. And uh, it turns out that when you know when you turn it on, put it on a speed, power is always going to this wire that's going to the reverse switch and then to the fan. And then, uh, oops, just dropped it. <laughs> um, and then, you know, your speeds are these two wires. Say, um, low speed is the just the purple wire. And uh, medium speed is just the red wire. And then high speed is both the wires together. So yeah, it has two, um, you know, it has two um, wires going through the capacitor. Sorry, I'm pausing so much. It's just usually I can edit videos and edit that crap out. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, two wires going into the capacitor and then a wire going to the reverse switch and then to the fan. And this orange wire going to the reverse switch and fan motor are always live when it switched on any speed and then to determine the speed it disables and enables these wires and stuff here just like I explained earlier so what I believe was happening was when you turn the switch off it only killed power to this wire because I tried it here hooked up without this orange wire and it just hums just like it did when it used to be in the off position and yeah now I you know I've just totally got rid of the switch as you can see and I just have it wired up for low speed right now with just the purple wire connected to the gray and orange wire Yeah, and it works. Um, and as you can see, as my failed attempt to fix the blade, I first tried JB Weld on this thing. And it worked great for a while, but, you know, well, I didn't use it a whole lot just for the first two videos I made of it, and then I took it down. Anyways, um, work good for that and then in storage they just ended up snapping like it don't take much to break the JB weld but it it will hold up good until you just bump it you know so you know I would just JB weld it again but then you know kinda of me I'm kinda of freaked out you know it doesn't take much of a bump to break it off like what if you happen to walk under it and the turbulence of the air made it wanna flop up and down a little bit and snap it so you know I don't know give up on JB weld for ceiling fan blades and then I thought well I'm gonna try some goop really flexible stuff but it really sticks it's very tough to separate a goop bond and yeah it's it's working good I mean I've used it on high lots which I never did when I had the JB weld on and yeah, I use it on high lots and it seems fine. I mean, it's flexible. It's pretty it's pretty stiff, you could say, but it's still flexible. And I guess in this case that was a bad idea because as you can see a blade the, the weight of the blade just kind of made it sag down a bit, but well, a lot, not a bit. So, um, oh shoot, I was zoomed in. Wonder how long I was zoomed in for. Anyways, yeah, so now I'm planning on just put gluing some reinforcement, you know, or rod 
starting at the back of the bracket and going down to about here on the blade you know and then goop that down and I think it'll hold but yeah might as well plug it in just for the heck of it I guess I forgot to explain that uh, Oh shoot, I'll have to unplug the lamp. Anyways, I forgot to explain about the stuff that it wrecked on the fan. And obviously it wrecked the reverse switch. Half of a second here, I just gotta do this. As you remember, it um, kind of cracked and very slightly melted the um, reverse switch and of course we got this little um, this light wire to chin and way so yeah that switch is wrecked I'll have to get a new one it still functions fine though um, and yeah the motor gets very hot if used for a good while you know maybe like an hour or half an hour on high it just it gets really hot so I don't know I'm guessing that it's got some shorted windings or something and it still hums as you can hear and I would switch it to the higher speeds but I only got one minute of video left so I'll have to make a night uh, actual video of this fan when I reinforce the blade and get the light kit back on and stuff it's gonna be really tough jamming all them wires back in there they're kind of stuck in this form <laughs> but yeah anyways um, nothing down here gets hot capacitors is fine the switch is fine just the motor gets hot so that's a plus from before I didn't know if the motor got hot in the other videos because I never ran it long enough. I only ran it for like five minutes at a time because I was kind of freaked out about the JB Weld. But now with this goop, it won't break off, but it's suck, um, sugged, um, sagging down. But yeah, I guess it's flashing on zero minutes now, so. I guess thanks for watching and thanks for all the tips you guys gave me um, in the other videos. I never actually did get to testing the amperage draw of this motor yet, so but I can tell that it's obviously drawing too much just from the hum and the heat the motor produces. But oh well, it works. <laughs> but anyways, I guess thanks for watching.